All right, hey friends, Peter Fasciano here. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and go over the Tragopan V6 photography hide. And I'm gonna to try to do all this in one take. So probably about two months ago, I ended up ordering this hide and I've been in and out of this bag constantly. I've been using it for two months, taking some pictures. And I just wanna show you guys how easy it is to put up. Talk a little bit about the accessories that I purchased along with it. And then hopefully if you guys stick around to the end, you'll see some of the pictures that I've taken up to this point. So let's go ahead and open up the bag, show you guys how easy this V6 blind is to set up. So inside the bag, you end up with this very spacious bag that you can put all the other accessories uh, if you decide to purchase them into the bag. And the height itself comes just like this. It has this little drawstring so just open up the drawstring. There are four legs. Each legs have two knuckles. And there's this hub, this top hub. So you just pick it up. Make sure all four legs are extended. And then what I like to do is just spread the legs out just a little bit grab onto the string and pop it open. It's easy as that. Set it up over the chair. All right, so before we get any further, let's go ahead and take a look and see what comes in the bag when you purchase the V6, minus the accessories. I'll get into that a little bit later in the video. All right, so in the bag, here's what we end up having. You have this camouflage waterproof total concealment uh, long lens um, window. I'm, I'm not exactly sure what the names of them are, but this gives you the ultimate uh, concealment. There's a little zipper at the top, you can put a flash through, or if you wanna use it as a viewing port, you can do that as well. And I'll show you guys how to put all this stuff up and what it looks like. You also end up with four of these camouflage small little windows. So you can put a, um, a lens through here. It also gives you additional viewing um, options. And there's one, two, three, there's four of them. Then you have a camouflage long lens viewing port. So you can put that one in there as well. And then inside the bag, you also get eight stakes and some guy lines in case you need to uh, batten down the, um, the rain fly. And I think the rain fly is separate. But the eight stakes in here, and this is separate. I don't put a metal hammer on there in the bag because it's a little too heavy, so I just put a, uh, a plastic mallet. Let me go ahead and stake down all four corners and then I'll change camera angles and then we'll go ahead and show you the external features of the hide from there. Pretty soft ground. Right now I am up in uh, Flagstaff, Arizona, up by the lava caves, so east, or sorry, west of Flagstaff. It's been pretty windy. If there is no wind, you might get away with not staking it down, but the ground here is pretty soft, so I'll just go ahead and stake it down really quick. All right, that's all four. Let's go ahead and show you the external features. So now taking a look at the top of the tent, to cover up this hub, you have this little top. You can flip this top over, you can secure it by four Velcro tabs, or if you want to completely secure it, there is a zipper. So this little plastic zipper all the way along, and it's all secure. For some ventilation, if you want, you can just unzip it and just tag down the four sides, and it's not gonna go anywhere once you have the Velcro on. Either side of the tent, sorry, either side of the photo hide. You also have some cross ventilation. We have these little rigid plastic, I don't know, stakes that will just kind of Velcro into place. There's a zipper inside the tent. I'll show that here in a little bit. And you can do this on both sides of the photo hide and you have that cross ventilation. You have the strings up on top, all four sides, or I guess on the legs, you can tie some twigs or branches to give you some additional camouflage. Or if you don't like the color of this camouflage, you can just buy something separate, throw over the top, 
and you can just tie it down so it doesn't blow off. So that's the top. And let's go ahead and go around all four sides and show you what each side looks like. All right, so this side of the hide is the exact same as the opposite side. We have this plastic support that gives you that cross ventilation. Again, I just showed you that, but it goes all the way through to the other, the other side as well. We have a viewing port that is closed up by a drawstring from inside. You have this outside covering that will cover up your actual window. And inside you have these drawstrings. If you pull on either one of these drawstrings, and I'll show you here in a second inside, if you pull this drawstring up along with the other one, it gives you the window. Down below, we have a four-way zipper tripod port. So if you're inside the hide, you can actually put a tripod leg out to give you some extra room inside the hide. The four-way zipper down at the bottom is going to allow you access for the tripod like I had just mentioned. So when you're sitting in there, the tripod leg can come out. Now let's go ahead and cover the front and the back because they are slightly different. All right, you guys, I've got to stop lying to you. The front or the back is very similar to the other, to the other sides. So you have your, your flap again. This one right now is secured with the clips inside and I'll show you that in a second. We still have our tripod port, but we do not have that plastic um, ventilation shaft. And I did say earlier that the guy lines that were in the bag were to secure the rain tarp, and that's not true. Again, I lied to you. There are these tabs on every one of the legs, so in case you're in really windy conditions, you can use the guy lines and actually further stake down the photo blind itself. Now, let's get to the, uh, the meat uh, of this photo blind, which is the front. Okay, so here we have the front of the hide. Uh, at the very top, we have the zippers. Unzip it, this is where you enter and exit the hide. Right now I have the chair inside, I believe it's a 13 inch high chair, which gives you a good uh, viewing angle to all four windows. And if you don't wanna purchase the chair, then I would, it's a white-breasted nut hatch. So if you don't wanna purchase the chair, you can, you can pick up uh, something like this from any of your outdoor um, shops. It's just like a four-legged little stool and you can set that in there and you'd be able to rotate around the stool to get access to all four windows if you need to instead of having to get up and move the chair itself. So it's completely up to you on, on what you feel like doing. Personally, I just go with both because I just don't know how I'm gonna feel. And then to get into the height itself, it's very simple. Step in. And by no means am I the tallest person in the world, 5'7", and sitting in the, in the hide, relatively comfortable. The front and back are wider than the sides are. So this is more of a rectangle than it is a square. Now let's go ahead and bring you inside the hide and show you all the different window options how to attach them, and then we'll get into the accessories. Sitting inside the hide, you can obviously see some problems, some issues. We have the drawstring for the hub. We have the drawstrings for the windows. And if you guys are like me, I hate bugs, insects. And if I'm sitting here and I have these things touching the side of my face, it's gonna freak me out. So what they did do is they designed all these little cubbies that you can actually stuff these lines on so they don't freak you out. Right above the hub, there's a little mesh pocket that you can just fold this up, put into the pocket, and it's out of the way. The lines, the drawstrings for the window and for the port, you can just stuff that in there. And then when you draw these up, if you draw the window up, underneath here, you can just stuff the cords and they're out of your way. Now I want you to bring, I want to bring you guys to this silvery material. I believe it's called an isothermic layer. This is going to reflect heat away from the photo blind or it's going to reflect heat back into the blind. It's supposed to keep you cooler when it's hot outside and it's supposed to keep you warmer when it's cold. 
So how much warmer, how much colder, I don't really know. I don't have a thermometer, uh, but sitting here in 78 degree weather, almost direct sunshine now, it seems to be pretty comfortable in here. Now, granted, I have all these ventilation things open, but it's pretty good. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to window options. Like I had showed you from the back, the window was actually latched closed. The latches are on the side, they're very silent clips. So to unlock it, you just push and they open up. Either side, we have these drawstrings, just pull up on either side. I've already showed you this. Wrap up the string, tuck it inside, and you're good to go. Now I'm gonna show you what it looks like from the outside as well as the inside. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the completely rainproof, camouflaged, long lens, I guess sleeve, if that's what you wanna call it. So on one side, you have a drawstring, so you can close this up around the lens if it's on a tripod. Um, you have the six clips in the front right here. Just make sure you have your viewing port, your zippered port facing up. You're gonna pass it through. The top clip will clip into place here. And you have six individual clips. Once they are all set, ready to go, you're ready to pass the lens through. And as you can tell, it is complete concealment. It's not gonna, it's not going to allow any of the wildlife or the birds to see you. And the lens, I have the, the 100 to 500. The lens will just fit right through. There's a drawstring on the outside. You can draw it closed or not, and you're good to go for this concealment. Another option that you can have, mesh slit window. Goes on the same way. And these clips only go in one way. If you put the clip on there and it doesn't, it doesn't take, you just need to flip them around. So there's a front and a back to this. The camo is going to face out. Again, clip on top. I'm not gonna clip them all. Clips on the side. And as you can see, this one, the viewing port is pretty open here. You can put the lens through there. Or you can just use it as a, as a view. And then the last one is the long lens camouflage mesh. So again, same as always. I'm not going to clip all six, but you do all, all six sides. Lens goes through there. The mesh gives you some viewing, so you're not revealing yourself that much. And it gives you the freedom to look out without having a huge open area. And then the last option that you have is what the blind comes with. So just draw this down, Bye. clip them into place, and then you have the viewing port here. Again, it's got that drawstring. You can open this up use it as a viewing port, or you can put the lens through there and use it that way as well. So you have options. And then there is a extra attachment that you can purchase for the very front window. Let me go ahead and change all the cameras around and show you what that screen door looks like. Oh, before I do that, I almost forgot to let you guys know that I told you this, I was gonna show you that try to get a little bit more light in here. There's clouds moving in front of the sun. So on either side of the hide, you have that cross ventilation. So there's this little zipper with a little mesh that will allow air either to come through the mesh or if you want like ultimate ventilation, you just open both sides and you've got a cross breeze. Now let's go ahead and show you the screen door option. All right, I need to get the screen door done before my light fades away. And I will just go ahead and pick up again tomorrow 
showing you guys how the accessories attach. So the screen door, just like all of the other mesh compartments of the windows, they have clips on them. This is a camouflage. Make sure the camouflage is facing out. We have two clips at the top on both sides. There are corresponding clips inside the hide. So go ahead and I'll clip the top, clip the other side. And then halfway down on either side, there are corresponding clips inside the hide. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip those into place. We have our sleeve for our long lens. And then zip up the bottom of the hide up to where you feel comfortable. And there you have it. And again, this is a separate option. I'm gonna pick up tomorrow when I have more light and show you the other options that you can purchase separately. See you tomorrow. And just like that, the power of editing, it is the next day. So the second half of this video is going to cover all of the accessories that you can purchase separately. And I'll put a link in the description where you guys can go check out the uh, Tragapan websites. If you're in the United States or Canada, I believe you go to photographyblinds.com. I could be wrong about this and I'll just link it down below. Europe and the rest of the world, you guys are gonna go to, I think, tragapanblinds.com. Whatever this is, I'll, I'll put it here and then I'll also put the correct links in the description. So the second part of this, like I, had, I just mentioned, I'm gonna go out and go over the accessories. I have a rain fly or the rain tarp, and you can see that this is their older color. Didn't really make a difference to me. I went ahead and purchased it anyway, even though they were out of stock uh, with the new camo. So you guys can see the difference between their old greenish camo and their newer camo. So I got the rain fly. We'll go ahead and put that up, show you guys how to do that. I have a room, so you can actually attach a room so you can lay down in. So I'll, I'll show you that. And then we have a canopy. So in, in case you don't want to put the entire room on, you can just unzip the front, throw that down, and then attach the canopy. And when you're laying on the ground, you, you'll just be laying on this. That's an option. I wouldn't recommend it uh, just because you might dirty up or get marks on your actual zip front window, but it's an option. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the canopy. Let me change the camera angles and show you guys how to attach this. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the canopy. If you take a look at the bottom where your feet go, there's a little grommet, a little hole grommet, and two little hooks that you can um, use the stakes and stake this in. If you go to the opposite side, you're gonna see three more hooks. You have a middle hook, and then you have the other two. I'm gonna go ahead and step out of the hide, take the chair out of here, and show you how to hook this up. All right, so like I had just mentioned, you can go ahead and unzip this just a little bit. And throw it out here so you kind of have a little bit of ground cover in case you don't want to put the extra room on. So we have these three little hooks and on the tent itself or the the blind itself you have right below the two grommets you have a you have a hook just hook that in there the middle hook in the very center you can hook that up. And then on the last side, right below the grommets, you have your third. All right, once you have that done, you have a small little bungee. You can just wrap it around the stake. Do the same thing on the other side. Have a little elastic, just put it down you know, underneath the stake. There's also a hook. So if you want to stake it down, you can do that as well. 
I have two more pegs, my rubber mallet, that grommet, you can stake that down, stake these down. And there you have it. So now you have your your awning. Now I'll go ahead and bring you guys over to this side. So you can stake it down right here. And then to get in, just lift that open. And you now have an area where you can actually lay down in. You can store some materials down in here. Plenty of space for a camera bag. Plenty of space to sit. And then as you're laying down, if you decide to lay down, you can put some sort of mat there up over the top, give you a little bit more protection. And now you have access to these three ports on the bottom so you can get those low angle shots. And then to take it apart, it's just the opposite. So you unhook the three latches here, take off the bungee, Take out your stakes. Now you're all set, ready to go. And I'm now gonna show you how to put the rain tarp up. And I guess this is as good a time as any to let you guys know. Tragapan is not sponsoring this. I purchased this through my own money. Um, spoiler alert, I like this photography blind a lot. So Dragabond, if you guys are watching this, feel free to reach out to me. I have an Instagram account. Uh, my name's Peter Fasciano, and the Instagram is just my name, Peter Fasciano. I'd love to partner up with you. Love your products. If your products are as good as this, yeah, reach out to me. I wouldn't mind uh, starting up a partnership with you. So let's move on to the, uh, to the rain tarp. All right, so the rain tarp, again, different color, no big deal. It has the drawstring, just open up the drawstring. It's got, you know, your typical uh, tent pegs that will feed through. And then you just open this up. Throw it up over the top. <clears throat> you have these... Uh, you know, seams, just make sure the seam is, you know, by the hub. And you should be all set, ready to go. The stakes themselves are the little tent poles. You have these grommets right here on, on all four legs. So one side you would use the top, the other side you would just use the bottom as far as the, the, uh, the tent pegs or the tent poles. So you have a sleeve, just pass this through the sleeve. And then again, you have your grommet here. And I use the top grommet for this side and I'll use the top grommet for the other. So make sure that stays in the center. You have these little clips, and these little clips will clip into the bottom of the photo height itself. There's a spot for the guidelines, and my suggestion would be when you clip these in, don't tighten it up right away. Wait until you get everything in. Wait until you get everything in and assembled, and then you can tighten everything down. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all four tent poles in all of the sides, and then I'll do a quick walk around and show you the guidelines and how to stake it in. All right, so I have all four of them staked in, and as you can tell, it's pretty uh, pretty substantial. You get this extra overhang that's gonna protect your long lenses. And if you're going to, you know, batten it down, secure it a little bit more, make sure that hub is centered at the top and then down on all four sides, 
you have these clips. Just clip them in place and then tighten it up by pulling on that. You still have a place for your guy line right here. And that's pretty much it for the rain tarp. To take it off, <laughs> again, just like before, just the opposite. Unlatch everything from the bottom, take out the tent poles or the blind poles, and stow it away. All right, everyone, uh, we are down to our last accessory that can be purchased separately. And this is going to be the room, the extra room that gives you complete, I guess, concealment from the elements. It's an additional room. You're gonna take this front fly off and then you're gonna zip this one on. And this is going to give you the ability to actually use this basically as a tent. It's gonna give you a floor covering and it's gonna give you a place that you can lay down and you can put your legs into and still be concealed from the weather and the elements. So let's go ahead and, and open this up. We got the drawstring. We got some pegs in there. I heard that. So at the bottom, you have this integral, integral uh, stake. So when you see this, this is gonna head towards the bottom and then the rest of it is gonna move up towards the top. So this is your ground cover that's gonna go down. And essentially what this is, it's a sleeve. It's like a sleeping bag. You're going to take the ground cover itself. You're gonna put it into the front, or now I guess it's the back, the back corners. This little bungee is gonna go underneath, and I'll show you guys all this in a second. This bungee is gonna go underneath the hide and latch onto the stakes. And then there's this little toggle that's going to latch onto the inside of the tent. And then you end up with all four corners doing the same thing. And then you have a zipper that is going to take the place of your front uh, window or your front, you know, enter entrance and exit. So let's go ahead and get this kind of all situated, get the camera angle so you can kind of see how this is attached. And then we will call this video good. First thing you want to do is get rid of your front door. And this is just basically the zippers on all sides here, on both sides. And I told you earlier, you can get away with not staking the tent uh, when, it's, when it's windy. But unfortunately, if you don't stake them down and you take this door off, those front two legs are gonna, are gonna splay out and you're not gonna be able to actually use the hide. So I'm gonna take the, the front two corners, drag it in here, bring the rest of this up here, and then I'm gonna bring the camera in and show you. All right, so I hope you guys can see this. You have this bungee right here that's gonna fit underneath the tent and it's gonna hook onto the stake in the back. And then you have a toggle here and you have a toggle point on the height itself. So I'm gonna pass this bungee through the bottom and I'm going to get the toggle here. And I know it's dark in here. Uh, the light has been absolutely frustrating. So we've got that. There you go, and that's secure. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. All right, so the same thing to the, same thing to the other side. I'm gonna pass this bungee underneath the hide. The toggle is right here. All right, so we have that. Make sure that uh, bungee is underneath there. And I'll take you guys outside and show you 
how to attach it to the pegs itself. All right, so the bungee is right here and you basically just put that directly over the peg. Do the same thing on all four sides and then we'll get this thing zipped up. All four sides are toggled in, connected. Now the last thing you need to do is just zip it up. So we have a normal zipper. I'm sure everybody knows how to use a zipper. Continue to zip it up. So we got that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and extend the room, stake it down. Extending it and staking it down is just like the canopy. So we have the two ends here. And we have a guy line that you can prop this up. So let me go ahead and stake these down, show you what it looks like when it's all finished. Stake number one. Stake number three. And there you have it. Let's go ahead and uh, take you inside, see what the, uh, the room actually looks like. To get in, unzip. And then once you're in, just zip it up. So now that I'm inside the tent, you can see this is a good amount of space. You're protected from the elements. The ground cover is no longer an issue because you got your uh, ground tarp. Let me go and set the camera up and then I'll crawl back there. And show you guys uh, how much room we actually have. All right, so I am in the tent. Camera's outside. I am fully extended and I am only halfway into the photo blind. Okay, back outside the hide now with the room attached and it's pretty cozy in there. Definitely plenty of space for the chair, plenty of space for the bag. I don't know if you can see the chair in there. Plenty of space in the back of the chair as well. Just all around, well thought out, blind. And then to take it apart, just like all the others, you're just gonna do everything in reverse order stuff it back into the bag and you guys are all set ready to go all right and there you have it the tragopan v6 photography blind hope you guys like this video if you did give me a like if you're not a subscriber and you kind of like this kind of content why don't you guys uh, consider subscribing to my channel recommend this to somebody share it and i think that's where i'm going to leave it i'll see you guys in the next one